Tom. The hey, hit the lights over there. You're fired. The Boat Show is back at sea. Welcome. I'm your host, MC3 Colby Canio. We have a huge show lined up for you. Some pretty cool stories. A special guest actually flew on board just to be on the Boat Show. And MC2 Barry Riley is back with a hot new track. So let's get right to it. While we are in port, Lincoln hosted a special visit from the Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Ray Mabus. It was his first trip to the Northwest since he got the job. Boat Show was there to cover the event. Here's what Mr. Mabus had to say to our strike group. I and everybody in America think that they're the greatest fighting force we've ever had, that we've got the best trained, best equipped, best <clears throat> educated force we've ever had, and that they can do anything. Lincoln's air wing is back on the boat, and the producers found out one of our squadrons just celebrated its 43rd birthday recently. So, happy birthday, Sun Kings. Here's a picture of the cake. Looks good. They've logged over 30,000 flight hours since 1963, including more than 3,200 flight hours in support of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Keep those radars spinning for another 43. As you all know, we're back out to sea for a while. This underway, Lincoln's finest are participating in TISTA, basically a family. Sorry, Petty Officer Neil, to interrupt that uh, really interesting story you had going on there, but there's actually a pretty big story up here in Catapult 3 launch valve space. Um, there was a fire, and one of Lincoln's finest airmen uh, put out the fire with, her, uh, with the help of her training. Here's the story. I was uh, on steam watch and I was doing my rove and I came into the launch valves to show the um, people that I was training all the different valves and when I turned I saw um, a fire up in the corner. Uh, I believe there was some lagging on fire. I'm not sure if there was some grease up there or some uh, hydraulic fluid that had soaked into the lagging. The fire was up here in the corner. I could see uh, orange like uh, flames or sparks coming from here and I, I ran around to where uh, the steam smothering valve is and I activated steam smothering after a watch was posted. This valve here is opened and closed in 15 second intervals, filling the space with steam until the fire is put out. She did excellent. She did exactly how she was trained. Um, I'm proud of her. I'm proud that these guys uh, take all their training in real well and uh, they don't panic during the situation. They just refer back to their training and handle it smoothly. And we get. Uh, we get the problem solved. When somebody is trying to teach you something, to listen, because they're not talking for their own good, they're talking to, for you. Like in the future, you're going to be put in a situation where you need to know what you're doing. Airman Lopez was awarded the Navy Achievement Medal for her efforts, personally given to her by Captain John Alexander, Lincoln's commanding officer. More boat show after a short break. You're watching the boat show, so stay right here. Chief tested, chief approved. Hey, what's going on? This is Herman Cruel Alvarado, BFA2, working very hard in the USS Abraham Lincoln. Well, mom, dad. I love y'all, miss y'all. Hi, Ella Rose. Hi, Megan. I just wanted to uh, let you know I love you, and uh, I'll be home soon. Give uh, Logan a hug and a kiss for me. Bye. Hi, Mom, Dad, everybody back home and in Virginia Beach. Hi, I'm OS3, and I'm from CVW2, and I just want to say hi, Dad. Uh, we're in the middle of the ocean in California. I just want to say hi to my mom and everybody back there in the States. Kathleen, I love you, girl. Benice, David, Brian, my little niece, Kamani, I love all y'all. Anyways, love you. <laughs> Bye. Doing well, having fun. See y'all soon. Just want to say I love you and I'm glad everything's going well and uh, be home in a few weeks. Welcome back. It's time for the Lincoln Lightning Rapid Rundown. Whew. Now for some shocking news. Electrical safety tagouts. All sailors making tagouts must use drawings to verify isolation. If there are any drawings around, you can make one with an official signature from a chief or higher. Like this here. Flight deck awareness. Let's be safe, sailors up there on the flight deck. Do your safety checks on your float coats before you go up. Did I already mention how important electrical safety is? Lincoln's chief engineer, Commander Brad Biddle, is a 2009 Naval Claude A. Jones Award winner. 
The award is presented annually for improving operational engineering or material readiness of maritime forces. Good job, Commander Biddle. The spandex gym is now open. Go check it out. Bring your headband and some tube socks. You might even see this guy there. <laughs> I'll see you there as soon as I find my tights. Who put that in my script? Anyway, don't forget your towel. Uh, I think I'm about out of topics. That's it for the Lincoln Lightning Rapid Rundown. <laughs> Moving on. Our deck department works hard day in and day out. And here off the coast of Southern California, one of Lincoln's dummies got a little wet. Hope the water's warm. Deck department to the rescue. Roll the clip to see how we get a sailor back on board. Don't worry, Mom. We're in good hands. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned. Facebook is about to be in the house. Chief tested. Chief approved. Hey Facebook, I'm Airman Silvera. I'm Airman Fallon. And Airman Bishop. Hi, I'm OS3 Kakamis, and I'm from Riverside, California. I'm also part of HSM 77. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm from Cory, Pennsylvania, and I would like to shout out to my parents back in PA. Oh, hi, I'm Petty Officer Ray, board Lincoln, as you can tell. Hi, right, this is Airman Thomas, uh, B3, uh, from Midland, Texas. Uh, hey, this is uh, Daniel McLaughlin from the USS Abraham Lincoln. Just want to give a shout out to my friends and family back in Cook County, Georgia. Hello, my name, is, uh, my name is Ricky Batts from uh, Memphis, Tennessee, by way of uh, San Diego, California. And I just want to say hello to Laura Mancho. And we just want to say uh, to everyone back at Facebook and everybody back at home, we miss you and we love you guys. Hi, Mom. Hi, Stacy. Love y'all. Bye-bye. And I just want to say hi to my parents and my little sister and to all my friends on Facebook. What's up? I want to say hi to my wife and uh, she's pregnant. Got a baby on the way. Baby, take care of yourself. I'll be home in 20 days or so. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Tell, and I just want to give a shout-out to my family back home, so hope everyone's doing good, and I'll see you when I get back. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Take care. Baby, I love you, and I'll be home soon. I love you. Love you, my family. Love you, Amber. I love you guys. Miss you guys. Can't wait to come home and see you guys. Love you, Callie. Welcome back to The Boat Show, Lincoln Nation. Today we have a very special guest, Facebook's Vice President of Engineering, Michael Schreffer. Welcome, sir. Can I call you Mike? Sure can. All right. How was your trip out to Lincoln going so far? That's pretty amazing. I think uh, getting a chance to get on the plane and land on the carrier was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So what do you actually do at Facebook? So I'm the VP of Engineering. I manage the folks that uh, build all the software that powers and runs Facebook.com. Wow. Um, can you tell us why you're really here? No, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, did you call on sick to work today? Because this is going to get posted on Facebook. Yeah, I don't want you. No, man. You you I, w I was told this was just for the boat. I didn't know you're, you're going to really post this live. It's going everywhere. Here on the boat show, we use Facebook to let our fans see what the ship is up to. Uh, we get suggestions for story ideas. How do you feel the role social media plays in the military? Well, you know, I got a pretty great demo today of how you guys are using Facebook pages to to talk to uh, people at home about what the ship is doing, and mm -hmm. I think that's awesome because the you know the thing we're trying to do with Facebook is just give people uh, tools they can use to communicate uh, with the people they they love and care about in the world. And so I think being able to do that to keep in touch with people while you're abroad is is pretty awesome. Okay, one last question: We'll get you off the hot seat. Facebook or MySpace? I think you know my answer. I do, I do. That's why we're big fans of Facebook and the Boat Show. A winning combination. Thanks for coming out, sir. Thank you. 
Okay, it's about time for the world premiere of MC2 Barry Riley's new song from the album, That's What I Call A, Volume 72. He's impressed me before. Let's see if he can do it again. That will do it for this edition of The Boat Show. Thanks for watching. And remember, sailors, families, friends, keep sending us messages on Facebook so we can shoot a story for you. Until next time, this is The Boat Show, where dreams are found at sea.